Welcome back to another Rick Bowcraft time lapse video. This is episode 13 and first of all I want to apologise that these haven't been coming out each week. They do take a lot of my time, both playing and editing, especially the editing side of things to bring to you guys. So they will still continue, but they won't be weekly, as I'm getting a little bit more interest on my COD montages that I've been putting out weekly, so I'll be focusing on them as the weekly video. But today's video is all about upgrading our wool farm, as the previous one only had three colours, which was white, blue and yellow, and as great colours they are, we are missing the other 13 colours as there's 16 altogether. So this build will consist of 16 different coloured sheep, all having their own individual coloured cell. Cell? Did I say cell? I meant home. Their own sweet home. This is made up by having an observer block, checking the grass state. So as soon as the sheep eats the grass, this will then turn to dirt, triggering the observer block, which in turn activates the dispenser, which is full of shears which will shear the sheep, which will then drop the wool in the block space they're in, which this wool then will be sucked through the dirt using a hopper inside a minecart, allowing the item to be stored in a chest. But we didn't stop there. Remember last, last episode with the auto storage system? Well, each sheep is connected to a long line of hoppers, which you can see in the building, um, the tunnel out here, which we decided to make it two blocks wide giving us enough space to walk by and maintain the hopper line system should we be quieter now my friend when i was showing him this did ask me how many hoppers i used and unfortunately i couldn't tell you all i could tell you is made we use a hell of a lot i mean a hell of a lot of hoppers so it's a good thing we did have our iron farm which is also, what we um, got a hopper line system connected to as well as the sheep system. So now all our different coloured wool and iron and the little red poppies that they drop will all go into our super storage system and this will give us one place to collect everything. So what we are going to do is do the rest of the farms like this as well, meaning that we don't actually physically need to go to the farm to actually get any of the items this will automatically put it all into our storage system so stay tuned for that and the best way to do that is to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos or streams also joining my discord channel will have all my video news and much much more here you'll find an awesome community to chill play and collaborate with and these also has the details of the server and how to join Rickbowcraft. Now with this Rickbowcraft server, it is open to everybody. Anyone is welcome to join. Obviously no griefing of course. There is a system where you can protect your own blocks, which is great. Now the Minecraft Discord is also integrated, the chat that is, so you can talk with people in Discord within the game and vice versa. There's also a link to a Google map of the world. So why not at least come check it out, take a look and see what you think. And you know, you may never know you might like it here. So as you can see, I've moved on to moving the train track a little bit further down, one block down that is, and also putting a little walkway at the side of it. Not that you ever need to go there, as all the wool, as I mentioned, will automatically go into the storage system, but this will allow you to go refill the shears from time to time when it's required. That, and it looks nice. So yeah, I'll try not to leave it a month before the next one's out, but you guys can help me with that by liking and sharing the video, getting it out to reach more people and that way it gives me a little bit more encouragement to get these videos out a little bit quicker for you all. I will say bye for now and I've been Rick Bo Baggins if you didn't already know. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and like and as always I want to thank you for your time and support and happy gaming. <laughs>